Hello and welcome to the finale of Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. So I have mentioned this before guys, but the plan is to beat the game without getting all the extra Crystal Shards because apparently you get a different cutscene if you beat the game without having everything. So I'm going to do that, then I'll go back and get the Crystal Shards and then we'll beat the game again and get the bonus content at the end. So that's the plan, let's do it and go right into stage 3 here. Alright, so first thing I want to mention, well I guess not the first thing I already mentioned crud, but what I want to say is that I I read some comments saying that the first stage of the Ripple Star was actually just the first stage of the game remixed slightly, so that's why it felt so familiar and so easy. I don't know how I didn't pick up on that, it probably was super obvious, but anyways, I guess we're killing this? What? Oh, I guess it's just for fighting some random enemies here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn into the Ice Guy. I could have gotten the Fire one from before and then turned into Ice Fire, but... Oh well. Let's just... Oh, see if I can get this guy. Nope, the explosion got it, so I guess I'm just going into a bomb form. Uh, I, I can do Bomb Rock, but I'm just gonna go with the bomb for now. Now that was easy enough, got a Crystal Shard already. So I still have not gotten the chance to show off the Fire Ice Power, I don't think at least. So someday... <laughs> well, I guess today is the last day to do it. So I guess I gotta find it. I've decided I'm probably not going to do a video showing off all of the power-up combinations because there's already videos like that that exist online, so you can find those if you're interested. Oop. Wow, we can even explode saw blades with this thing. Yeah, the bomb on its own is probably my favorite of the single power-ups. It's really good. Because you can just throw it from so many different angles. You can throw it while jumping, all kinds of stuff. There is another chance at the ice fire power-up. And they're not going to give me another crystal shard for this section, so I guess we'll move on. They might have had another crystal shard hidden away there, but... I guess I just didn't feel like looking for it. So this area might be a mini boss rush, or it might just be a bunch of combat segments. Either way, I don't think it'll be too challenging, because the bomb is super good, and if I can find a cutter to go with it, that is what I want to mix it with if I find, because then I can get my shuriken back. So I'm just going to be careful here to see if I find any cutter. There it is. Okay, there it is. So let's get him. Boom! Now we got the crud I wanted. Alright. Now everything's going to be ridiculously easy, and there's another cutter there even. No Crystal Shard for this one either, that's fine. So I guess we're just gonna probably have us go through a whole bunch of combat segments like this. Which is totally fine. I hope that they give me some more Crystal Shards though and don't have them hidden away too, you know, too sneakily or anything. Alright, I think this is the fourth one already. But with this power up, everything should be extremely easy. Unless I can not hit them. That fish is way up there, dude. They're just going to keep coming even though the fish is way up here. Let me see if I can get him. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can really just stand off in the distance here. Ooh, Bomb Electric, is that a good one? I can't remember. I guess I'm going to skip that because I, I don't remember if that's good or not. Actually, I couldn't mix anyways because I already have my bomb mixed with something. What am I talking about? You can't... As far as I know, you can't take a double power-up and then go mix it with a single. There we go. Oh, not quite done yet. Still got one of these guys. These guys can be a bit of a pain, but I got him. Oh. Okay, so I killed the last guy by hitting him with my face. That works. And yet again, no extra crystal shards. And the one time I get hit is the one time they don't actually give me any food in, in the in-between section. They just give me a one-up. Kind of would have liked some food there, bro. Right, these guys will be super easy. I'm just going to stand here and throw a bunch of shuriken. And once again, they're going to keep spawning in as we go, so I, I've got to keep up with that. Alright, I think if I stay far enough to the side, I'll probably be fine. Ugh, these icebergs are... <clears throat> excuse me, these icebergs are kind of vicious, though. Oh, these guys, too. It didn't, did not actually hurt me, though, even though he clearly hit me. So I don't know what was up with that. Okay, there's one more here, I think. No, one more still. And got him. There we go, there's that second crystal shard. Let's get one more, come on. We're probably going to have a more serious boss as we continue here. And I did not mean to get hit there, obviously. Okay. Get wrecked. Oh, we're getting closer to the dark matter there. I hit that guy off in the distance without even trying. There we go. Okay. So once again, no food. Oh, we're done. So I guess I missed one of the crystal shards at some point. Let me go ahead and get this card here. Got it. I could have also gone for the tomato, because I could use the heal at this point, but oh well. Let's just move on to the fourth stage. Oh, this is the last one! There's no... F it's not going to be four stages and then a boss here. We're just going right to the boss. So here we go, guys. The boss of level six. And I have my favorite power-up, but only have health right now, so we're going to see how this goes. Oh, crud. He's going to have a bunch of ice crystals, it looks like, that I have to destroy, probably. Without getting hit. 
Oh, that's going to be tricky. Okay, let's get off to this side. There we go. Looking pretty good. I have not dealt any damage to him yet. There we go. I actually got a little bit. Just the tiniest bit of damage right there. Oh, he's got a bunch of different forms. Ow, crud. I got to learn these different attacks, though. That's for sure. Can I... Nope. Nope. Well, this one's going to take some practice. I don't know if I should be getting a power-up before I do this, or if I should just go in raw. Okay. So the needle power-up goes at angles like that. And I can just shoot him with this. Okay. No power-up seems perfectly fine here, actually. Okay, what does the spark do? It shoots lasers at me. Oh, the lasers bounce off of his body, too. That is kind of interesting. Can I get that? Okay, got it. One more hit. No, not going to happen. Okay, fire goes down. Oh! Okay, fire, I just want to duck, it looks like. Oh, gosh dang it. I didn't I didn't expect the second hit for some reason. Alright, so I know I can get two hits a lot of the times if I'm careful, but I keep only getting one. Alright, the cutter, it looks like he just goes around in circles. That's fine. Do I ever get a chance to hit you? Oh, he's going down. He's going shark mode right there. Wow, I don't think I can actually hit him with that one. Oh, jeez. Not getting hit by that crud. Ugh, okay. Got him, and... Nope! Didn't get him. No, no, no! Dang it, dude. I, ha I had a chance right there to hit him twice. I think I gotta be more careful, dude, because I am starting to take some serious damage here. Okay, this one I hit him with two before. Let's try to do it again. Nope. Wow, I don't know how I got him with two the first time. Can I just suck the bubbles up directly? No, I can't. Oh, boy. Oh, the bubbles. The bubbles are splitting. There we go. There we go. Nice. Double hits. Okay, the cutter. Ooh, almost got hit there. This is one of the easier ones to dodge, but I don't know if I can actually hit him with this one. Maybe this one's not easy to dodge. Oh, I think I can suck up the butt. Yeah, I can, I can suck the butt, dude. I didn't know that. So I'll keep that in mind if he does the cutter again. Ooh! Get away. Okay. Get him. No, 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 no! Got him! Yes! Whew. This is so stressful, man. Okay, let me go suck the butt here. Dude, he's running away so hard, it's oh, kind of hard to get the butt sometimes. Got him, though. I'm trying not to get hit while I do this, you know? That's the tricky part. Ah, I didn't quite get him. And I'm not going to get him there. If I can keep dodging, I'll be fine. Okay, this one can go up, down, or side, side. So I got to keep that in mind as well. Oof, got him. Nice. Can I get him again? Yes! Nice! Oh, jeez. We're more than halfway done already. We're like two-thirds done at this point. Okay, once again, I got to suck the butt right here. Oof, don't get hit. That would be so bad if I got hit randomly. Gosh dang it. I can only take one hit at this point. Ah, oh, he almost got me there. Please don't tell me this fight has a phase two. Okay, this is the one that shoots the laser beams. Don't get hit, bro. No. Oh. Ah. Oh, the double. Okay. Oh, I don't like this one. At first, I thought it was easy to dodge. Now I'm, like, stressing out over it a little bit. Dang it, dude. Okay, let's go down. Do your down thing. Yes. No! He went up! Why did he go up? I thought he was going to stay on the floor, so I tried to jump over him. Gosh, dang it. All right, guys, I'm back down here with this time with 5 HP, which is pretty awesome. And one thing I actually realized, I didn't think about this before, is you can actually swallow the enemy's power-up, so you can actually hurt them with that. The only thing is you can only use a power-up on that given phase. Like, I can only use the ice power-up against the ice phase. I can't use it on any other phase. So just, that's one kind of downside to it, I guess. But it's still pretty useful because... Certain phases, it's much easier to hit them with the power-up than it is with anything else. I would say that certain power-ups, like the spark and the needle, I would prefer to just use the shooting attack and not actually attacking them with the power-up itself. But the fire, for example, that one I actually like using the power-up with. Let's get rid of that. Fire once again. Fire twice in a row here. Let's go ahead and get that. One more hit. Oh, take that, boss. I think they're down unless there's a phase two. I don't think there is. Yes, it looks like that boss is defeated, guys. So, in a way, that is the final boss in the game. However, there is one more boss if we get all of the Crystal Shards. But, here is the cutscene we get if we decide to skip some of the Crystal Shards. I decided to show both of the cutscenes. I figured that'd be the best way to handle things. I kind of like to complete games whenever I can, so... Just, that's how I'm tackling things, I guess. Look how happy everyone is! And I guess we have the Fairy Queen who has 
bubbles on her face. Or maybe those are her glasses, I don't know. And we're hopping inside an intergalactic traveling UFO machine, probably. Oh, look at... look at that handshake. Dang, not even a hug. I mean, I can understand not getting a smooch, but not even a hug? Come on, bro, you just get the handshake. Alright, man. Well, we're flying off, and we've saved the fairy people! Oh, wait! She looked evil. Wait, is she gonna secretly be the final boss for real? I've got a feeling that is gonna happen. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and skip these credits, and we're gonna go and fight the true final boss. And if it doesn't show the credits afterwards, I guess I'll put these at the end. But I'll see you guys in just a second. So I'm going to get all the crystal shards, and apparently for this one right here, I need an ice plus ice power-up. And there's obviously no ice power-ups in a gosh dang fire stage, so I gotta go find some. And you know what, guys? Let's finally check out the ice plus fire power-up. It turns me into an ice cube and then melts myself. That's all it does. Oh, okay. Hooray, I made it. Ow. And with that, I now have all of the crystal shards from all of the first five levels. So all there is left to do is to go to level six and get the last few ones we have here. One from here, two from here, and one from here. And there we go. Using the bomb and spike power-up, I was able to get the last crystal shard right here. Get it down there. Got it. And this one right here I had to use an electric power for. I got that at the start of the last stage, so pretty not too bad. Pretty not bad, or whatever I said last time, is definitely me showing off my incredible English skills. But in any case, we got the last crystal shard for here. Just one more to get right inside this stage. Let's get it. And the last crystal shard is right here. Just had to use the fire plus spike ability to break it, which is the bow and arrow. So we got them, guys. We have all of the crystal shards. And with that, now this boss right here is flashing. So let me go ahead and select that and see if there's something different. I'm guessing there will be. I might have to defeat them once again, so let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, got this boss defeated, so let's see what happens next. Oh, we get a tomato! Nice! So we're gonna go back to full HP, which I really needed because I was down to one. And I'm guessing the true final boss is coming. Let's just get past this cutscene here. Oh, guys, we have a whole other stage here. Nice! I think this is technically level 7 here. So the game is definitely not over yet, but it will be soon. Okay, let's just wreck these guys. This place is really cool looking. I love the graphic design of it. Got all these hexagons and everything. Now, these guys, I think I'm just gonna jump over them. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with those guys. Oh, am I supposed to go down here? Alright, let's do it. Not sure if I have to collect some crystal shards from down here as well. Ooh, but they are giving me a one-up, so I'm up to four lives right now. Which hopefully will be plenty. I don't know how difficult this last boss is. I've never seen it before. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, King DDD. This is a team effort right here. And there is a crystal shard right there. Can I get it? Doesn't look like it. Oh, crud! Oh my gosh, look at this crud. So we're doing like a Star Fox type boss right here. And it looks like we can shoot crystals by pressing B. I'm not sure I'm actually hitting them though. Maybe I should spend more time actually dodging and less time trying to shoot things. Do I have to hit them in the eyeball? I don't know if I can hit them yet. Does not look like I'm doing any damage here, guys. So I think I probably have to wait until they're like in a hittable phase or something. But uh, kind of embarrassed to say I've already taken three points of damage. Hopefully this gets a little bit easier as we go here. Maybe I should be hitting the wings or something. No, all of my shots are homing in towards the eye, so that must be what I have to do. Can I charge or anything? Uh, I can't charge, so I guess I just got to figure this out. I think maybe if I hit them enough times, then they'll take the damage. Maybe that's what I have to do. Because it looks like they are doing something different here. Their halo is turned to a green color, so I don't know what that means. Alright, so I think what I have to do is break the halo, and then I have to hit the bandage, but I, I think I have to hit exactly that little white portion in the middle. Which is tricky, I don't, I don't know how to aim for that very well. But maybe I just keep hitting it, and eventually it'll work. Come on, get him! Darn it, dude. And then I think, okay, I think after this, now I have to hit the cactus bit. Wait, yeah, he's turning his butt towards me. Turn your butt! Come here! Oh, give me your butt, dude! Yes, yes! He's taking damage! There we go! I finally figured out how to actually hurt this guy. But he's shooting fart bubbles at me, so I gotta dodge that crud. Oh my gosh, he is almost down to half. Come on! Oh, I did not quite get him down to half, but I finally figured out how to damage him, so I'm super hype about that. Alright, back to dodging. Oh, Dodge! Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm getting pretty good at hitting his eye. Alright. Ugh! Don't get hit! Ugh, okay. Let's gotta go through this phase again. Good, good. Now let's hit his, hit his halo. I've got the routine down, guys. So hit that crud. Okay, now hit the bandage. Or is he gonna shoot his little fart bubbles at me right away? I don't know. We might get lucky and just go- Yes, we're going right for the fart bubbles! Alright. 
So he's got to hit that little cactus nub, his little peener. Come on. Oh, it's shrinking, though, I think. Oh, my gosh. That is so much fart gas. Wait, did I get it? I got him, guys. Halfway down, I guess. So maybe he's going to shoot out a second cactus butt. I don't know. But in any case, that part is down. Let's just get this second eye portion. Oh, this is really stressful. I mean, I still have three hit points left, but I feel like I could just lose those at any point. All right. Come on. Get that halo. Come on. Got it. Okay. Oh, let's go for the farts. Yes. Come on. Aim better at me, bro. Yes, the damage is coming. Okay. Ooh. I think I can get him this time, guys. Come on. Just don't miss a single shot. Come on. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. One more. No, two more. Ooh, got him. Yeah. Oh, we did it, guys. Holy crud. The game... The game is over. We defeated the true final boss. Dark Matter, whatever the crud that guy was, it's all over. We got all the Crystal Shards, defeated the true final boss, and I guess we've seen both the fake ending cutscene and the true one here. Hooray! I still feel like she's evil somehow. I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Yeah, she's definitely evil. You can just tell. Just look at... Oh, dude! For the good ending, we get the smooch! All right! So if you get the bad ending, you just get a handshake. But if you get the good ending, you go right up to smooches. That is awesome. And I guess here are the credits, so I'm going to go ahead and let these roll, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. I really hope you've enjoyed watching Kirby 64. I've had a blast playing it, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.